Happy Father's Day, Sunday, June the 19th. Tuesday, mark that on your calendar, is the first day of summer. And that's the, the only day this month where we're seeing temperatures above 30 degrees. Not like 1988, where we had that very dry heat that caused some of the water levels to recede in the Matagango River. We watched our lawns go brown and dry like hay, and then we had brown water. But the temperatures back then hit 50 degrees Celsius with the heat index. It may not be that warm, but do take caution though, because there was a slew of heat warnings over towards Northwest Ontario. Speaking of heat, that's where this corridor of warmth and humidity is saturated right now. And that's slowly gonna spill over towards Northeast Ontario come Tuesday. So watch out for that. Everyone's gonna be staying tuned to that. Four ridges of high pressure. My tag says three of them, but it's four ridges of high pressure, maintaining stable sunny skies for the morning. And then we have some cloud cover spilling by the afternoon. The barometer's headed up in the right direction and just a light summer breeze from the south at five kilometers an hour. By the afternoon, the cloud cover from these frontal boundaries and the warm pockets of air with these warm fronts over northwest Ontario spills over to here at home. Mid to high level broken to overcast conditions and due to the pressure gradient and distance of these stronger lows, the barometer is beginning to fall down a little bit, but the winds are still calm despite that reaction. Still makes for an all around beautiful day. Cloud cover in motion. I got three different time loops from morning, afternoon and evening. You can just see the cloud cover moving in a clockwise rotation. It's just the way the cloud cover is rolling around the frontal systems. We've got two different pockets of high cloud tops. Those are between 40 and 52,000 feet. And that's what brought some showers and some very heavy thunderstorms, especially the Thunder Bay, where they reported some heavy thunderstorms and torrential downpours for earlier today on Sunday. Rain shower activity over Hearst by the 12 o'clock hour. That's the only one of two spots that reported any precip. By the evening, the Timmins Airport did report a scattered shower that went through right over there. You can just see it popping up and then moving on towards the southeast. And the airport in Timmins continued to report showers in the vicinity oh, for about an hour or two, and that's really pretty much it. Nothing more significant than that. And finally, the real-time wind chart, my favorite chart of all to show you. The four ridges of high pressure lined up between Ohio, Michigan, Sault Ste. Marie, and Moosonee. There was a clockwise wind flow, so there was cooler ahead of the highs. That's the gusty winds that we had Friday and Saturday with the color walk at Gillies Lake. We reversed the wind flow from the south southwest behind the high pressure systems in collaboration with the low pressure systems and the warm fronts over northwest Ontario. You watch the observations with wonderful Father's Day music, so to speak. I have a 12-hour forecast for tomorrow right after this.